Welcome everybody to part two of Elite 93. We are going to be reviewing Cesaro T Bar as well as Carrying Cross. Brutal Live back with another video, and today we're going to be reviewing more of Elite 93. If you guys have not already seen part one, Rick of the Dragon Steamboat, Raquel Gonzalez, as well as Seth freaking Rollins, the video is already on the channel. Check it out. But yes, guys, we're going to be reviewing these three here in front of you guys right now. Before we even get started, pick them up from ringside as well as WrestlingFigs.com using discount code Live, which to save 10%. Feel free to use the code L I V E, all caps will save you 10% off at checkout at WrestlingFigures.com. On Elite 93 and every freaking thing on the website. Accessories, figures, everything. But yes, guys, Elite 93, let's jump into it. Starting off first with the packaging. You can see the front, all the windows of every single figure. They're all looking great, by the way. Some solid freaking figures in front of you right now. I haven't even got them out of the package. And dude, they're looking great. Cesaro, T Bar, and Karrion Cross. Uh, but yeah, guys, this is going to be really awesome. You can see the little uh, cut, uh, cardboard cutouts of each superstar on the front. And then on the sides, you got the uh, pictures of all the guys looking pretty good. And then on this side, we do have the names and then the certified authentic little patch and then on the back we got some info about each different guy right there if you guys are interested feel free to pause the video to read our people in the series seth rollins t bar carrying cross cesaro ricky dragon sebo as well as raquel gonzalez so without ado let's jump into one of these figures first starting off with the accessories first from carrying cross killer cross right here starting off first he does come with the nxt championship right here which looks great obviously i believe they have a new design for this right i don't watch nxt so i'm not really sure what's going on over there with the 2.0 series but this design is looking pretty dope i'm into it big x on the front looks pretty cool and he's also coming with the fisted interchangeable hands and then of course here is carrying cross starting off first with the head scan they are reusing the same head scan that we saw with his last elite which I'm totally fine with. It looks really cool. Uh, you got the gritted teeth going on. Beer goatee combo looking awesome. Crazed looking eyes. He is bald on this figure right now. Currently, he does have hair, which is crazy. Uh, I saw a, his workout with Chris Van Vliet. Great video, by the way. I definitely recommend checking it out. And he does have hair, which is very crazy. Uh, moving down, he does have the fully sleeve tattoo on his left arm right here. Just decked out in tattoos and his left pec right there which looks pretty good he's got white wrist tape on both arms as well as one elbow pad on his right arm and then his right arm doesn't have any tattoos fun fact he talked to his mom and he's like his mom's like don't get any tattoos or and then he's like okay i'm gonna save the right arm for you i will never get a tattoo on my right arm so that's why he decked out his left arm no tattoo for his uh, right arm because that's his mom's arm right there he said that also in chris van Vliet's workout video i definitely recommend checking it out moving down he does have this very nice like accessory piece right here under it's just some black trunks but this like this is a very nice piece right here you got like some nice maroon like colors going throughout you got some nice uh, golden freaking studs around this thing. It looks fantastic. This piece was like like that in the packaging. That's why it's sticking up if you guys are wondering. But all I gotta do is just hold it down for a while to come back. The rest of the tattoos on the back. But yeah, great looking piece right here. I'm really into that. It kind of makes the figure in my opinion. Moving down, he does have the black knee pads and then he also has the continuation of those little accessory pieces above like his like above his gear uh, right there. He's got them above the kick pads which look great. Kick pads are surrounded uh, with the uh, gold studs as well as the uh, main color black and then he does have a nice maroon as the back which looks pretty solid it's a, it's a great figure dude this is definitely better than his first elite uh and it's definitely his last because he's no longer with the business Moving now into the t-bar action figure starting off first with the accessories he is including the open interchangeable hands as well as the fist interchangeable hands which is i have right there and then he also does come with an interchangeable head scan which i'm glad they're giving him this because t-bar right now in wwe he does have the hair and he doesn't wear the mask anymore so i'm really glad that mattel gave us this head scan to interchange change it with which is pretty cool he does have the face paint going over his eyes that's a solid looking uh head scan of dominic dajakovic for sure um he's got the beard going on hair looks really cool i'm into that head scan and then of course he has is coming with this very nice entrance piece right here it's a big like cloth robe entrance piece and it, it, it does have a couple points at the end it's a very nice looking piece i'm into it he also does have a little hood on the back that you can't lift up it's just for show but it still looks pretty cool and here we have T-Bar, one of, T-Bar was one of the, part of, one of the worst factions of all time, in my opinion, in WWE, in Retribution, um, I thought it was so crappy, but this figure is insane. This figure is very cool, and don't get me wrong, but like I said, he does come with the interchangeable head scan because he's not really wearing the mask anymore, but this mask does look crazy over his face. You can barely even see his eyes because, like, the face paint's covering him so much. But, yeah, great-looking head scan. I'm into it. Like I said, this one's bald. This one's got hair, which I'm really into. Torso's looking pretty cool. Definitely solid for Dominic Dajakovic. Definitely. And he does have these nice-looking, like, like, gray little uh, string-looking things over his biceps there. He does have, like, 
like the extra large elbow pads. I'm not really sure why they had them slid up on the figure like that, but I think I'm just going to throw on some regular size elbow pads. I don't really know why they gave us these gigantic ones. Um, it is pretty cool that you could see the joint there through the elbow pad, but they are just too big for the figure. And then moving down, he does have the black gloved hands, which look pretty cool. And then moving down, main color of the pants is just black. You got the little retribution logo right there, which looks pretty cool. And then he does have the silver little belt buckle, but yeah, main color of the pants is black. Looks pretty solid. I believe these are the Sergeant Slaughter pants, uh, which looks pretty solid. And then moving down, he does just have the extra large cane black boots. Jumping into the figure that I'm most excited for out of Elite 93. It's the last one that I'm reviewing out of the series. We got the Elite 93 Cesaro. Let's get it out of the box. And jumping into the accessories, guys, he is coming with the pointing interchangeable hands. Uh, of course, you could do the, oh, swing. Cesaro's about to go swinging. And in my opinion, he's coming with one of the best cloth goods we've ever gotten. Uh, jacket wise, not not robe wise, because we've seen some insane Ric Flair robes, but like jacket, like sweatshirt wise, like this is one of the best cloth goods we're seeing. Cesaro says on the front, super low profile, very nice, says Cesaro. And then moving to the sides, it's sort of like a, like a jacket over another jacket because we're seeing two different materials here for the arms like you got this white very nice material here and then it leads up to the black material material and then you also do have these nice little black straps on the top of the freaking jacket and then on this size it just says just swing it in the white and it's just coming out of the jacket it's just freaking so nice and on the back it says back in the swing cesaro like that is so wicked dude like mattel Great job on this cloth good. It's literally fantastic. And then, of course, jumping into the Cesaro action figure, starting off first with the head scan. Did they nail it? Yes. It looks like Cesaro. They did a great job. The eyes, the beard, the goatee, everything looks great. Fully bald, going all the way around. Looks very nice. The same torso that they've used in the past for Cesaro figures. I think it looks great. You get the nice hair on the torso, which looks pretty good. Uh, very realistic. And then you have the black wrist tip on the left arm. And then nothing really... Well, he does have like a little like rubber ring, probably, on the right hand right there, which looks pretty cool. Uh, as far as the arms go, I do believe the arms are a little too jacked for Cesaro like these are freaking shredded arms right here um for Cesaro I definitely think they could have toned it down a little bit um but yeah I mean it doesn't bother me too much but they definitely are a little too big I saw a post on Alex West Collects um story he said both of his arms had different molds but mine seemed to be the same unless I'm just tripping but those are the same that's the same mold for both arms right there unless I'm just going crazy like there's no way uh and then moving down he does have the very nice looking trunks right here it says Cesaro on the front outlined in yellow when he first revealed this at Mania 37. I was so into it. I'm like, oh my gosh, do we need a, we need a figure of that? It looks great. So this is our on the side, outlined in yellow at the bottom, and then on the back, you got more yellow, which looks great. I just love the yellow highlights throughout this figure. And then moving down to the boots, more yellow highlights going throughout or pinstripes. And then it says always on the side, which looks cool. And it says Cesaro. And then you got the little uh medical plus logo right there on the back. Uh the boots stitch up with some nice lacing on the back, which looks fantastic. I do want to put on the jacket for you guys. I want to show you how that works. Um, I'm gonna do it on camera here for you guys we're gonna slide it right on just like this this is why i like cloth because it freaking slips right on just like that it's so easy to do and wow freaking wow mattel you guys are great um wow that looks freaking like literally fantastic i was disappointed with the seth rollins rubber jacket but um See, when you give us cloth and you nail it times two with like two different materials in one like that's freaking nuts mattel y'all nailed it with the cesaro dude Shut it down. Bum, 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 bum. Shut it down. Bum, bum. T T bar sucks. The figure's cool though. But yeah, guys, that has been the other half of Elite 93 Cesaro T Bar and Carrying Cross. If you guys enjoyed this video, uh, video review, feel free to drop a like. Again, code live at Ringside Collectibles will save you 10% off on Elite 93 and everything else on the website. If you guys, again, haven't already seen part one with Seth, uh, Raquel Gonzalez, as well as Ricky the Dragon Seaboat, check out the video. And I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Bretto Live out.